Yo! Welcome to Containing Luxury. I don't know why that's so difficult to say. Welcome to Containing Luxury. Welcome to Containing Luxury. So anyway, we're gonna be covering today high cubes versus standard containers and the couple of different variations and sizes you can see. So let's get started looking them over. All right, so what do we mean when we're talking about high cube versus standard containers? And right here is what we're talking about. So right here we've got a, uh, this is a high cube container. So what that means is it's a, a foot and a half taller than your standard container. So this is literally the side by side. Both these are used containers. So we, there's so many different variations you can have uh, a high cube, you can have a standard, you can have new, you can have used. Uh, new is actually never new new. It's got one trip on it. Uh, some of these other containers might have 20 years of trips. So uh, that's something to take into consideration. So we're gonna get started with covering why you'd wanna choose a high cube versus a standard height container. And believe it or not, you don't wanna always just go directly to a high cube, even though it gives you a little bit more interior space. And here's a couple reasons why. So what you're gonna find with a standard container, if the ceiling height isn't gonna be a, a deal breaker for you, uh, it's gonna be a little bit less volume. So heating and cooling costs, you know, minimal effect, but you save a little bit of energy that way. Um, the biggest thing is uh, going to be your transportation. If it's going somewhere where you have, you know, low power lines, uh, you have some low bridges, uh, you got to kind of like predetermine the path that you're going to be bringing your container and make sure that you can get, you know, it from point A to point B with no obstructions that are going to stop you. Uh, High Cube is a foot and a half taller. So, you know, make sure you do all your, you know, your pre-gaming and make sure that you can get a uh, standard or a high cube when you're determining which one you wanna buy. Uh, a couple of the other factors are, you're gonna save money buying one of these. It's not a big difference, but it, you, you know, you save money on the, on the purchase of it, probably uh, anywhere between 500 to $1,000 uh, less for a standard versus a high cube. Uh, so we've got money savings on the purchase. We've got uh, issues with the height of getting it from point A to point B. And then also you're gonna save yourself a little bit of the energy costs on the uh, interior heating and cooling, and then a minimal reduction on material costs because when you get into some of those nine foot studs, uh, anything virtually over eight foot is not gonna be a standard size. So you might have to get a sheet and a half. Um, and this one, it's all gonna be eight foot. So you're gonna save probably 15%, 15 to 20% on, what's up tr truck, Jeep, Jeep, Jeep truck. Um, you're going to save anywhere between 15 to 20 percent on your framing, insulation, and drywall. It's not really going to affect your uh, cabinetry unless you're going a little bit higher with cabinets and stuff. So mainly you're going to see the cost savings on your framing, insulation, and drywall. That's about it for a standard one. Now we can talk about the benefits of a high cube. benefits of using a high cube container. That's going to be obviously the added headroom. Um, you're going to have a lot higher interior elevation height. It's going to feel more comfortable. It's going to, you know, the containers are relatively small to begin with. So that added ceiling height is just going to generally make the space feel a little bit larger. It's also going to give you additional areas that you could fit in, uh, maybe some added storage. Um, other than that, it gives you the allocation if you need to lift the floor up a little bit for plumbing, depending on what your design is. Also the same in the ceiling, if you need to drop it to get some AC ducts through there, uh, electrical, uh, even if you'd run water supply lines overhead, something like that. If you got to drop that ceiling, it gives you a little bit more room to play with to achieve an interior elevation height of, of eight foot. You can't really do that on the, on the standard container. So this one's going to give you a lot more space. Um, not a lot more, a little bit more interior elevation and uh, just feel generally a little bit more comfortable. But again, you can only use this if you've done your, your point A to point B transportation of the container and you know that you'll be able to get it in there. So if you can go with a high cube, it's definitely the best bet. Cost. Everyone wants to know what is the cost difference? 
So uh, a high cube container it, for us is gonna be somewhere around $5,900. Um, a standard container, and that's new. So we're gonna cover new first, then we'll go into used. So a new high cube, about 5,900. New standard is about 5,000. Used, you're gonna save yourself probably between two to $3,000 on this unit, and about the same thing here. One reason that the, the price is not set in stone, so you can't take these figures and be like, okay, that's exactly what it's gonna cost me. There's so many different variants involved here, and we live uh, virtually next to three different ports that are major ports. Um, so we can get shipping containers with low transportation costs. So if you live in Nebraska or something, you're gonna have a much higher transportation cost of a shipping container, and mainly due to the fact that you don't have access to them locally, um, and I have five places I can get them. So pricing is gonna vary uh, quite a bit, you know, depending on your location. But a good basis to work off of, 5,900 or so for a new container high cube, and about 5,000 for a standard. <laughs> I don't know why I'm rambling off on all the other stuff because we were only going to cover the... Are you acting like you never ramble? Oh yeah, I mean, rambling is my game. I love rambling. Why wouldn't I love rambling? Oh, rambling's oh, that's literally what I all do. I literally ramble. <laughs> Look at this beautiful landscaping. You want to take it home? I mean, kind of. My brain, my brain goes a million miles an hour. I can't help it. <laughs>